time for round two for tutorials. This time we're going to learn how to use or basically understand the ways of Magic Bullet. I already pulled out a fan art. I just randomly picked and this came out. Um, when it comes, I actually have a two picture set guide on this, which is this and this. I'll leave a, um, a download for them in the description later because they're pretty useful and I did make typos on this and I'm kind of upset. <laughs> so if you want to go by the instructions given here, um, crap, I need to, um, okay, there we go. Um, step one, when you open Magic Bullet, it should look something like this. Um, if regards to how to get Magic Bullets, um, I installed, I got mine off the Vitter Tips channel, or should I say Vitter Tips Tumblr blog. Um, they have download resources for mm, a lot of things, let's just say. And one of them was Magic Bullet, and that's where I pretty much got mine. You should be able to install yours the same way too, as long as you follow the instructions given. Now, that's um, when you install it, you'll find it in your video effects section, and it should be, I think, right here. So, I have sets right here, but, um, let's start with the default. So, when you open a magic bullet, when you open this, you just click edit. And let's wait a while. This is gonna take a while. I can hear this well right now, because it's, like, encoding the other tutorial, like, as we speak. Just be patient. Oh, okay. Alright, it's starting to show up. Okay, when you open up Magic Bullet, it'll look something like this. You have, um, upon first seeing it, you're kind of just like, what the hell is this? This looks like a completely different program alone, but it's not extremely difficult. So, if you want to go over tools, um, these are kind of like, uh, no Magic Bullet expert, but these seem to be like coloring things in... These are kind of like secondary coloring, like they give you different kinds of glows, sort of. The lens are my favorite. Um, this gives you a gradient. This gives you that soft blur things at the edges. This gives you your um, color shifts. So if you want like the RBG or GB shifts or like those cyan whatever shifts, you get them from there. So for example, if you put by the way, when you do these, you put them where, so if it says lens here, you put it in lens. So if you put this here, you get a really cool gradient. You can just do zooming in and out. And then let's say you want to blur the edges too. You can add more than one thing, by the way. You could do this too, and it's like really rad. And I forget if you can even keyframe this. But if you can, it's, it's actually pretty cool. I never really tested it for keyframing. Um, comb rack ab ab abrasion, uh, whatever it's spelled, gives you your color shifts, so if you just drag this, there's your color shifts, like, I did it too much, I, I went too much, too much. Um, this is actually how I do my RBG shifts in my videos, because one of the coloring presets I have has the RBG shift in it, and that's why I have it on my videos all the time. So let's get rid of these. Fetish, be gone. What's another one? Uh, the camera ones. These are other coloring ones. Uh, these two. I usually use a lens more. So let's say you don't really know how to work these things, but you're kind of interested in doing really cool coloring even though you don't know how to work these. That is not a problem. So what you do is you go up here and you see the thing says look theater and you can pick certain things and when you pick something, so let's say um, stylized, this isn't my preference, I just picked one randomly, and you click view, it's going to preview a bunch of different coloring sets. So you, you don't have to do much, you just kind of watch and it kind of goes in a slideshow of different things. 
and it kind of, it also shows you what things certain things do without you actually doing them so here we have three things and it does this huh interesting let's try it on loads and see what we get there so you just kind of keep viewing see here you got a right really cool blue one pretty nice looking here's like a summer one you just have to look and even if you like go through them you can save as many as you want and this one's actually pretty interesting simple but pretty cool and this one looks like the other one <laughs> slightly but more color mm. so yeah you kind of just look through this just it's kind of like watching something and then it kind of just like magical it's kind of like okay you don't like this um uh is this one better actually that looks pretty cool it gives like an old film oh there's a film crane no wonder so let's say you find one and you like it right when you see it click something whatever down here so i just click the color so with three way and you take it you take whatever it was you click down here the finished it doesn't show it on mine because I have mine zoomed in and it'll show it. Um, if you like this coloring and you want to use it for later purposes, go up here and take your preset and name it something. I usually name mine symbol things. I'm just going to call this um, basic under 03. I don't know, something like that. And you click the save preset. So if you make sure you do that make sure you click this actually if you have others you can access them through here see that I have the most ridiculous names for mine <laughs> and so when you so that's your normal one so when you go back down here you have it exactly right there and you can just drag it and it's always gonna be there um, another tip I would advise is if you're using magic bullet and you're Vegas or After Effects because I know it's av available in After Effects if it begins to lag I'm not sure about After Effects but in Sony Vegas there's this um I can't show it here but um down down in your track there's a tab that says video like right here put down here says video and there's this thing that looks like um it says bypass specs and envelopes you can um you can color things one at a time here, but if you want to keep the whole video the same thing, you kind of just take your thing and put it on the video layer. I can't do that right now because it's not letting me, but that's usually what I go by. So if you click bypass effects and envelopes, or should I, s wait, what is it? No, okay, never mind. It's the video output effects. You can do this. I can't, it's not very good advice because and it's there and it's on everything. Now with that, if you feel like it's lagging too, you can click the um, bypass specs and envelopes and it takes it off. Or you can keep it, but keep your preview to quarter and it should work but easier. Just remember to set it back to full when you're done um, editing. Or at least that's how I do it. And that's basically how you learn Magic Bullet or just get by it really easily. Hopefully this helps somehow because I know Magic Bullet's very difficult to understand and all that. Um, if you need other help with Magic Bullet or something, um, that's all there is to it. And yeah, see you guys next time on the next tutorial, which would be in like a couple minutes. <laughs>